viewers and welcome to the Great Western Steam channel. Now today's video I will be showing you my scratch built pop pop steamboat but before I do that I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody who has subscribed to my channel. In case you don't know I now have over 10 subscribers so thank you very very much if you are subscribed and if you are not subscribed to my channel if well why not to start with. Um, Second of all, make sure you do after you watch this video. So yeah, so thanks, so thank you all for that. Now I'll crack on with the video. So this is my pop pop steamboat. Now just in case you don't know, the uh, pop pop boat is a steamboat which requires no moving parts. How it works is that here we have the boiler, and um, which heats up the water, and as it turns to steam, it makes a jet out of the Sorry, makes a jet out the back of the boat, out these these two pipes. But as the water condenses and turns back into steam, it creates a vacuum and sucks more water in, and the recycle keeps going. Um, but if you want to know more information about that, there are various websites on the internet which will tell you. So that's just brief. So this is more how I made this particular boat. So this particular boat, if you haven't already guessed, is made out of a sardines tin. So just a bog standard sardines tin. And then what I did is I got some pipe, copper piping, doesn't really matter what size, as long as you don't make it too thick. Um, which we have wrapped around here in the uh, coil, which is the forms the boiler. Now to get this shape, basically you just have to heat the heat the boiler up, heat the pipes up with a, well I used a uh, I have a gas stove so I used a, I've just hold, held it in the flame of a gas stove and um, yeah that worked quite well but if you don't have a gas stove you can use a um, torch but if you have a gas stove I'd use a gas stove because it's just quick so much quicker and easier so yeah and then well, once you've got it hot wait till it's cooled down and then if you get a bit of bog standard household plumbing pipe, which is, um, well, and you just wrap it around there. Well, I didn't actually, well, I tell, yeah, I tell a lie. I didn't actually, for this bar, I used something else, which was, which I can't remember what now, that was a similar shape. But you can use, I've seen um, plumbing pipe being used, so just normal household plumbing pipe, just wrap it around. Oh, God, I think I did it about, yeah, uh, about uh, three times here. And that worked really nicely. So yeah, and then we just have two pipes which come out the back. Now these are held in with a two-part epoxy, as you can see here, which hold these pipes in place. She could solder it, but well, as you know, this is painted. I don't know. She could solder it. No, I wouldn't solder it. I just use epoxy. So it's easier. So here we have epoxy which is what I did and here I just put in some more um, epoxy which just to seal the holes so we don't get a big puddle of water in the boat and um, so yeah although it did take a while it, did, it didn't take that long to build this boat to be honest but it did take a while because I did use um, uh, the long set overnight epoxy where you can get like quite quick 5-10 minute stuff so I'd recommend you, you use that but I didn't have any of that and I had this so I thought I'd use this now to fire the boat, you could use a candle, but what I use is this. Now if I just put that down there. This is a um, is a base of a um, tea candle. So on a tea candle, you have the waxy part, but when all the wax is burnt away, so it sits in this little tray, and you get this little tray left. If you pick the candle holder out in all the bits, it makes a really nice burner. So. That just sits under the. If I just hold, hold the, whoops, hold the boat up. Just sits under there, like that, like, like yeah, like so. And what I do is I just pour a bit of meths in there, and then just light the meths, and it makes a nice flame. Also, as well, if you didn't have any meths, you could use like camping stove uh, tablets if you cut them to the right size. I haven't actually tried that, but I'm sure it would work. There's no reason why it wouldn't work. So then, so yeah, but then also the stuff like um, use for like the Mamod steam engines and stuff. So that would work. But I'm going to do this with maths. With maths, not maths. Well. So we do this with maths. So, um, so yeah, I'll be, I'll be back in a minute and we'll get this engine running. 
So, um, hello and welcome back. Um, I'm going now, so I'm not going to get the engine running. So the first thing you need to do is to fill it up with water. Now to do this, you need to fill up one, put water into one pipe until it comes out the other. Now you could do this using a pipette or syringe, but I find it's easier just to put it under the tap. So if we cut the bowl of water in a minute, so I've got the, I'm going to run the boat in. And just put the tap on at a steady, a steady flow and just hold it in like this until it comes and see it coming out the other hole. So now you can see it's coming, it's coming out the other hole. So just so you just need to pull that back a bit. Just pop it down into the water without letting the, letting the um, water get out of the tubes. So now it's ready to go. You need to put the burner in. Just fill the mess. This is quite difficult this part actually getting it in with it in the water. Bit of a challenge, but it's not impossible. So now, just get some matches. So, just light the boat. So, so there we go. The boat should start running. So now it's starting to run, just getting hot. Then it did just um, move a little. This boat doesn't make much sound, it does make little bits of sound every now and again but it is a silent running boat because it hasn't got a diaphragm like other designer pop pop boats and here we are now when it's really good must be careful not to burn yourself and if you do try this which i recommend don't come complaining to me if you burn yourself because it was your decision to do this so there we go it runs quite merrily along Now the reason why I'm doing it in a bowl in the sink is because you might think oh, I'd be better off doing it in the bathtub. Well actually I don't have a bathtub, I just have a shower. So that's, so that's and so I can't do that. So I'm thinking just run it in the sink without the bowl. But there's also a problem with that because I don't have a plug hole. So uh, I can't do that either. So I have to do it in this bowl which is quite small. Which is a bit of a shame, it's not bigger but oh well, I just have to put it up with it won't I? So now um, I'll take the camera off the tripod and move the camera and get some nice um, angles of it running. Now all the time it's running you can really feel it run. If you hold on, to, if you hold it when you get you around it actually you can feel the power. Also, one good thing about the mess is it doesn't make a lot of mess either. I'm sorry if you can't hear me clearly, but the washing machine is running in the background, well, just behind me actually, so sorry about that. There's nothing I can do about that really, to be honest. So you can get it to run for quite a while on that section. If you wanted it to run faster and longer, 
and use less fuel. You could build a little cab, a little fire, a little firebox around the, the heat source, around the burner, but I don't think that would be necessary really as it runs for quite a while as it is really. Now it doesn't matter if the burner gets a bit um, out of place because there's a higher part um, of the bottom of the sardine tin. So it does move about a bit and doesn't stay perfectly in line. But this, however, doesn't matter. So I wouldn't worry yourself about that. So, yeah. So I highly recommend um, you build one of these boats as they're great. So they're really easy to do and they're great fun to watch running, they're great fun to make and to run and they're not expensive to run, you don't need a lot so so yeah now this is my own designer boat although there are many other videos on YouTube which I've got ideas from and came up with my own sort of ideas and designs really, I'm sure somebody else has done this, done this but there's not many different designs you can do to be honest well, there are, but they're similar to this. So then you can mount the coil and stuff in different positions. So yeah, to experiment and um, come up with a good design. I'd love to see a video of it on YouTube. That would be great. So well, I have noticed as well, with the heat, the coil does go a bit out of position, a bit wonky, but this doesn't matter. It's very quiet running. You can build boats with a diaphragm design. Um, but these are easier to do, and I thought it was my first boat. But I'll try one of these, just. But I will definitely try and do a diaphragm one at some point. And when I do, I will post a video for you all to see. Also, there are many other videos on YouTube and on the internet if you these boats. If you want to see some more different ideas and some which are very good, very interesting. So yeah. Yeah, so we're running one of these. Is the oh, that's a big flame. Perfect way to spend the uh, amount of time if you've got any, if you're a bit bored and got anything to do, just run one of these. Is it my brilliant entertainment? When you when you're finished with your boat, when the flame has gone out, when all the mess is run it, make sure that make sure that you don't go and touch it all because it'll be quite still quite hot. So there's just a bit of warning here. Um, yeah, the boil will be very hot, um, and it'll still run for a bit as well. If you can feel it running without the heat source, so just leave it in the water for a bit just to cool down before you try and pick it up so that way you have a burn free day. That concludes this video so thanks thank you for watching um, please make sure you like and subscribe and also if you could comment down below that would be great and also if you'd like to visit my other cha my channel bye for now um, and see make sure uh, make sure I'll see you later soon